I cannot believe Gerge and I are finally here. It's a bit of a race, you have to kind of walk around and make sure that you get a table. Welcome to Singapore. I really cannot believe we are finally here, but this is it. Come along and gorge on my adventure in this fascinating and unique country. We are starting with a little walk through Merlion Park. And the Merlion, which you can see here, is super important to Singapore because it symbolizes the origins. Essentially, the tail symbolizes Singapore's origins as a fishing village, and the lion head represents the city's original name of Singapore, which is Lion City in Sanskrit. Bear in mind that at that point, Gerge and I had just just come from a 16 hour journey so all we could really think about was food and sleep to be fair but food first for that we went to a nearby street food market called Makan Sutra Glutton's Bay which is about five minutes walk from Merlion Park and we were totally overwhelmed at first but we decided that an ice cold beer in 30 degrees humidity was in order of course and in the end we went for this fried tofu satay sauce dish with spiraled cucumber and it was heaven. I want to say it was worth traveling 16 hours just for this. Welcome to day two and this little island paradise called Pula Ubin, an island in Singapore which is totally unknown and a real hidden gem, trust me. We took the ferry from Changi Point Ferry Terminal and we paid about $5 and here we are ready to explore this untouched gem. So, we've just hired some bikes. How much did we pay? $15 per bike and we got a lock and now we're going to get a map and then we're going to cycle around the island. <laughs> We've got some friends here, by the way. Do you want to be in my video? <laughs> this is Helena. Hi. <laughs> and who's this? I have no idea. What is this random man doing my video? No. So Helena actually lives in Singapore, and um, yeah, we're gonna explore, right? Yeah. And then also her husband Viraj, who I will show you later. But yeah, for now I'm gonna get on this bike and I'm gonna mount the GoPro so you can see some vibes, you know. Ten to fifteen minute bike ride later, we are here. Uh, we are just now walking up to a viewpoint, absolutely fucking drenched. But we stand. I think it's like thirty-one degrees and really, really moist, wet air. But we continue. Hopefully, that viewpoint will be worth it. So we're hiking up the hill right now. But I will show you as soon as we get there. Okay team, so we have made it all the way up. I have never sweated this much in my entire life, but who cares because the view is amazing. I really love it, it's so beautiful. And um, yeah, we're completely alone here. So this is, I would like to think a bit of a hidden spot. There's not that many tourists here, the people you can hear, all the people that we're traveling with, so yeah. And in case you haven't noticed already, it was very hot, okay? <laughs> so on the way back down, we stopped by this cute little coconut stand to cool down and hydrate, which was much needed and is highly recommended and we paid five dollars per coconut by the way and then it rained which is actually quite typical for Singapore so we decided to have lunch and hide from the rain it was only like five minutes but for that we went to a local village and we had more veggie noodle dishes and here's happy me so we headed back to the main island to get changed for the evening <laughs> So here we are out for dinner, Haji Lane is what this place is called and actually we're going to go for drinks first and then afterwards for dinner. It's super busy here but very very exciting, I'm going to show you as much as I can. We're going to walk through, see some of the colourful houses and then obviously go for drinks. <laughs> People love it, there we are. So the place we've come to for drinks is called Piedra Negra. Oh, I've just almost walked past Helena. There she is. Hey. You have to 
to actually say where we are. Okay, do okay. an introduction. Where oh, are um, we now? We're out for food um, We're for at dinner. Newton Food Centre. Yes. Um, and we're going to get loads of food. So come on. Yes. <laughs> so we just took about 15 minutes to get a table. So it's a bit of a race. You have to kind of walk around and make sure that you get a table. But we have one. And uh, now Helena is apparently really good at ordering. So we're going to get some food. Center is a so-called hawker center and you must eat at one when you come to Singapore. Hawker centers are essentially open-air complexes where fresh local food is cooked and often served all day and all night and it usually is pretty affordable food and it's a very important part of the Singapore culture and lifestyle. We've got such a good table. <laughs> right okay so we ordered lots of stuff. I actually didn't catch everything that Helena ordered but I will show you in a minute. But all I'm saying is either be really brave and just go for it and order what you think looks good or come with a local or ask someone who has eaten here before where to eat and what not to eat because the choice is huge uh, but it's like super fun <laughs> so i can't wait to try everything all right team can you pass it to me so this is the biggest jug i've ever seen in my entire life i don't even know how to hold it but this is sugar cane juice did you say yeah and it's what the, all the locals have apparently <laughs> there you go Wow, yeah. Oh man, it's too sweet for me, I'm not gonna lie. It does taste like honey water. Refreshing, for sure, but for my non-sweet tooth, too much. But I see why people would drink it if you like sugar. Woo! Okay, team, so, Helena's written me a list so that we know what we have. I will read this out to you and then I'll show you all the, um, the food that's actually on the table right now, because there is a lot. So we have Samba Stingray, which is a famous dish and it's quite spicy. Then we have an off-menu item, which is egg salted squid still coming and we have some egg fried rice and then Helena wrote and you can't come to Singapore without some chicken wings and satay which we have as well and we have baby kaylan which is um, like a cabbage type vegetable with some crispy spring onions on top uh, or crispy onions I think so I'm gonna dig in now I'm gonna try it all and I'm sure it's all gonna be delicious and it was delicious, of course, as I hope this footage shows you. Definitely get the stingray, even though it wasn't for me. The rest of the team loved it. And of course, get anything satay when you come. Thank you so much for watching part one, team. I'll leave you here. And in part two, I will show you the magic trees and more.